Hi first grade. So today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a friendly sea otter. Right. So we're going to start at the top of the paper and we're going to make a kind of upside down U shape for the otter's head. Let's close that U shape with another curve. Inside here, that's a line for his face. One eye, two eye. His nose is another U shape. And then we've got a W for his mouth. We can Let's color. Let's find some brown crayons because now we're going to talk about adding texture, right? On the lesson plan, it talks about how otters have fur, right? And fur has is something that you can feel, so it has a texture, okay? So I'm going to find, I'm actually going to use um, a brown crayon for this part. And I'm gonna start filling his head with little dashed lines to make it look like his fur. And you can make those lines kind of go any way you want. Just lots of little dashes. And we're going to fill the outside of this kind of And here, we're going to do that same technique, but with white. That way, when we put the watercolor paint on top of it, you'll see the white marks through. Let's put a little bit of brown on top of the fur. And look, see what's so cool? You can see those other lines that we did already. So the texture shows through.
All right, we're gonna take our little otter, we're gonna put him to the side because now we're going to work on the ocean. Now the ocean background, you can either color it using some crayons, or I have these cool color sticks here, right? Or you can paint it. But remember, we want it to look like the ocean because he's laying on his back swimming in the ocean. So if you were to color it, a lot of times you can either peel a crayon, or I have these already peeled, and you could rub them on their side. And what's so cool about this is I'm working on top of a piece of cardboard that has a little bit of a texture to it also. And you can actually see the lines from the cardboard when I rub it through. Pretty awesome. You could even do both. Maybe I start with this. Now I can cut my little otter out and glue him on there. I could draw some little wavy lines with it. Or let's see, let me get a brush. I can even paint some lines. Let's get some oceany lines, right? Cut out your otter and glue it to your ocean background. Don't worry if you cut off the whiskers, we can just draw them on again. And you're ready to glue. Use whatever glue you have at your house, glue stick or liquid Elmer's. When you're done gluing, you can fix those whiskers.